Former acting U.S. Attorney General Matthew Whitaker joins us now. Uh, Matthew, thanks so much for being here. Let me read a, uh, a Truth Social post that the president put out last night and get you to respond. Here's what Donald Trump uh, posted on Truth Social. I hear that the great agents and others in the FBI are furious at FBI leadership for what they're doing with respect to political weaponization against a president, me, that always had their backs and that they like love a lot. They don't like being used by people they do not agree with or respect. Likewise, they are not exactly thrilled with the leadership at DOJ, similar to the revolt against Comey when he exonerated crooked Hillary, but was forced by them to withdraw the exoneration. So what's your sense also inside the FBI, the feelings about this particular? Well, let's start with that. What are your feelings inside the FBI, the DOJ, about this raid? Yeah, good morning. Glad to be with you. Uh, you know, I was there with President Trump at the, you know, at the Department of Justice and the men and women of law enforcement, including the FBI and all of the DOJ components, did love President Trump and, and had a lot of respect for him and admiration. You know, what has happened to the FBI, especially the leadership of the FBI, continues to uh, trouble me and, and many others that spent time at the Department of Justice, where there has become a politicization. We've seen Senator Grassley uh, have lots of whistleblowers uh, that are complaining about the two-tiered system of where they go after Republicans, but on the on the left, obviously, there is less, including, you know, the Hunter Biden investigation that continues to languish. So it's very troubling. But I know that, you know, the men and women in law enforcement know what President Trump did for him while he was president. Matthew, you know, it's interesting. I have heard reports that there were whistleblowers that were talking to Senator Grassley. I think back to the Afghanistan withdrawal when we had Lieutenant Schaller um, really put it all on the line. And I think really drew attention um, to what was happening and the dissatisfaction um, within the military by putting himself sort of as a sacrificial lamb in that. And I think that sp speaking the truth is can be one of the most revolutionary things you can do in this environment. Why have we not seen more <clears throat> agents step forward publicly instead of quietly through Grassley and then we never hear anything about yeah. exactly what they're complaining about? Yeah, Rachel, obviously there's a chain of command issue and, you know, all of these people have a lot to lose if they were to, you know, pop their head up in this current environment. Uh, you know, I think that, you know, both Jim Jordan and Chuck Grassley have had over a dozen uh, FBI agents come to them and complain about uh, this this problem, especially at the Washington field office. And, you know, those those members of Congress are going to have to deal with it and demand answers from Director Ray. So far, uh, we have been um, stonewalled, uh, at least publicly, from hearing anything uh, other than the, the company line from the FBI. And, you know, this, this Mar-a-Lago raid, I think, brings it all uh, into the sunlight. And we're going to ultimately, through this new process that could start as soon as tomorrow, uh, you know, we could learn a lot more about, uh, you know, sort of who's putting their thumb on the scale in order to get Trump and ultimately, you know, sort of... Uh, undermine the Justice Department. Hey, Matt, really quickly, just just 30 seconds here. What do you think is going to happen in the coming weeks? Yeah. You've been the head of this organization. You've seen a raid. Yeah. You know that usually means impending action. What do you think is going to happen? Will they indict Trump? Yeah, I, I don't think so, at least not in the near term. You know, we're in that 90 day window where no overt uh, criminal law enforcement efforts are taken. And so I think it's going to go quiet. This hearing is very interesting in this, uh, this motion that's going to be filed as soon as tomorrow because we could learn a lot more about the case. We could see a more detailed inventory list. And we're certainly, the FBI is going to have to, you know, put up uh, some more information and we'll learn a lot more about this case. All right, Matt Whitaker, great to talk to you this morning. Thank you so much. Good to all see right. you all.